Hello and welcome to Jamila Standing Grounds. Today I would like to share with you how I adapt a sketch to my card using my ABC approach. A is to analyze the sections, B is to determine background and borders, and C is colors and coordinating products. So what I would like to do on this sketch is I have for my A sections, I have three sections. I've got the background which is two layers, I've got a border piece, and I also have my main embellishment and greeting. B, as I said, it's two layers. It consists of um, pattern versus plain, and there is a border strip that's a third different pattern or a third element to it. And C, depending on the theme I would like to use, I'll choose what colors and coordinating products. In my first sketch here, or my first card based on this sketch, is a Christmas card. Here what I've done is I sort of reversed it and I have a plain border with a patterned piece using the herringbone technique with some scraps of DSP. I've got some glimmer paper as my border, so instead of patterned I kept it plain. And then I have these embellishments here, the Christmas trees and the greeting with some cording and some glimmer stars to be my section of embellishment and greeting. I have another card here. <clears throat> excuse me, that follows the pattern of the sketch. I had plain and patterned paper, I reversed it again. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but I did a little bit of faux stitching around it to create a bit of a pattern and faux stitching. I used a piece of DSP as my border strip, and I used these five pieces to create my little embellishment focal point with my greeting. And if sometimes you're looking at a card and it just doesn't look right, count the number of pieces you have. I have five here, and that makes it a more balanced look to my eye. Now the one little trick I'd like to show you, I can't really zoom in to see it because I lose my focus, but the one little thing I'd like to show you here is that faux stitching. And I'll do it quite large and exaggerated to show you, but it, this is how you do it. It would be a line and a dot, a line and a dot, and a line and a dot all the way around my card. And that just sort of gives it a little bit of a pattern along that DSP and in the plain area like my sketch. Thank you for joining me today on Jamila's Stamping Grounds for a sketch adaptation with the ABC approach. If there's anything you've seen today on my cards, my website is listed in the comment section and you can find those products there to purchase. Thank you.